Hey guys, it's X, and I just finished doing a sound test. Actually, I don't know why I mentioned that. <laughs> I'm a little bit out of it, my brain's a little boiled. I can't seem to get over this cold or fever or whatever it is. It's not really a fever, I guess. Uh, I'm 99% over it, but it keeps coming back just in, in small bursts, so it's kind of weird. But uh, I am, uh, I'm still good enough to go. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, doing commentary, except I might have to mute the mic to cough once or twice. But, uh, yeah, YouTube just made it so that most of us can upload videos longer than 15 minutes now. So, uh, I'm going to give that a shot. I'm gonna hope, Hopefully this match will lead into a longer game than 15 minutes, and I'll be able to use it to test my upload capacity. So, I'm going to play a, I guess I'll do a random game, 1v1. And hope I don't get Protoss. It's got to be Terran or Zerg. It's got to be Terran or Zerg. I, I cannot be Protoss. I'm just not good enough with Protoss for this to work. But, uh... Yeah, if I have to mute the microphone mid-game, then that's why. And my glass of water is out, so... This is not going to be good. I can't win a StarCraft match without a glass of water. Oh, and I can't even cancel and go get one. Alright, let's, let's see what we're starting off with here. Oh, please be Terran or Zerg. Across plateau. This is a very macro intensive map. Let's see, because the bases are so easy to defend early on. Zerg player, teams are even. Please be Terran or Zerg. Please let me be Terran or Zerg. Please let me be Terran or Zerg. No Protoss. There's a 33% chance this is going to suck, but a 66% chance this is going to be cool. Come on. Oh no! <laughs> pain and demise. Pain, such pain. Not cool. Not cool. Uh, I'm gonna upload this game anyway. Win or lose, win, lose or draw. When I record a game, I upload it, no matter what the result is. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Oh man, not looking forward to this match. Gotta find him. Oh. <laughs> This is terrible, and the teams are even. He's he's gonna absolutely ravage me. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I can't win this one. Then again, I said that last time, so uh, I'm excited anyway. Come on, let's see that finish. Let's see that finish before my chrono boost. I'll try and get warp gates this time. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I didn't get warp gates in the last game. That was just dumb. Get warp gates, kids. It's part of a balanced breakfast. Oh, I've got enough minerals, buddy. Maybe you don't have enough minerals in your diet. Why am I talking about diets? Here comes the drone scout. Okay, I'll send out a probe scout. You like that? Come on in, come on in. Ah, these players are getting to the point where they're not running into my drone line, my peon line anymore, so that I can't, uh, I can't get us around on the drone. What, what am I doing? How come I have so many minerals? What should I be building? Uh, I can't build one of those yet until the gateway's done. Uh, I have so many minerals. What's going on? I'm confused. Do do your thing. There's that. Not gonna build a cybernetics core. Another pylon. Zealot. Chrono boosts the zealot out. Where's my probe? Oh wait, the probe didn't find him. He's not there. Why did I suspect he was there? I just watched a tournament, <clears throat> and this is the positions the players were in. So, go get that drone. He knows the timings. He knows when this zealot's gonna be coming out. Get him. Okay, I see what I need to see. Pull a gas steel on him, see what happens. And now let's hopefully... Oh, he left. He had his drone leave just a little bit too soon. Nope, we'll hold this right here for a denial. Uh, let's pull a stalker out too. When should I get my additional gateways? Not yet. 
Wait, no, let's actually just get moving on gas here. I can't get a stalker out yet. Let's go put some pressure on him. Uh-oh, he sees him. He sees my zealots moving out. That's right. That's gonna force him to put. Uh, it's gonna force him to use larvae as zerglings instead of drones. <clears throat> and I know as a zerg player, I hate when I'm forced to do that. Ooh, double queens. I must construct additional pylons. Okay. Thank you for telling me what I need to build because. I'm so lost. The world is not right without you telling me to build things. Executor, or whoever you are. Judicator. Well, I've got these things. Oh, gateway tech. That's right. Now let's, uh... Chrono boost the gateway tech. Come on, pylons. Do your thing. What's he going for? Cut him up. Cut him up. Cut him up. Cut up the queens. Cut up those queens. <clears throat> Defend my Zerling. Cut up the queen. Cut up the queen. Cut up that queen. Okay, this is not going to work real. Cut up the Zerglings at least. Uh, gateway's going. Get four Zealots pumping. Roaches! Let's move. He didn't even expand. Okay, so he's got roaches coming. Um, am I worried about roaches? Should I be worried about roaches? I don't think I'm worried about roaches. Just get some stalkers out. Oh man, I need a lot more minerals for stalkers. There comes my probe. He finally gets to take that out. Yeah, roaches are very efficient on gas, so... Come on, hurry up! There we go. Let's go see what he can do against this. Let's get some sentries out too, because those things are awesome! Wow, Protoss take up a lot of supply. <clears throat> There's an Overlord right out here. He hasn't expanded though, so... I don't know if I'm okay or... what. He shouldn't let me build up, though. Phoenix. I can't get a Phoenix. But I can get a Nexus while I make this attack. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Wow, he's just letting me destroy his everything. Alright, so now I'm supposed to use force fields. Two force field. There we go, that'll block in those roaches and let me pew pew them. Now my zealot is gonna pay for that though. That's okay, I've got the number advantage over here. Hmm, this was too easy. Expand while attacking. Maintain this advantage. Where are those Zerglings coming from? Let's send my 
Good game, good game. Alright, that was too short. I can't believe I won that one again. Two games is Protoss, and two games won. That was incredible. Uh, it makes me a little more comfortable doing randoms. I'll say that much for sure. But then again, they, they were both Zerg players, and neither of them were, <laughs> were, were all that great. Um, I do want to test my ability to uh, upload longer videos, so I guess I'll go ahead and do another game. And hope you guys enjoy two games. I don't want to make the videos too long now that I can, because uh, I really think I want to shoot around still around the 12-minute mark. I think that's best for everybody, because videos that are too long are just, they're not very accessible. They're too difficult to watch. Like, you have to set aside a certain amount of time to watch a certain video of a certain length. So, um, yeah, I'll go and do another one, but i got to get a glass of water. I will be right back. Just going to cut this little delay out in the editing. All right, I've returned. Let's get another match going now that I've got my water. Got one win under my belt for this video. Let's go for two. Let's make it two for two. The one win, one loss wouldn't be too bad either, so. <clears throat> Expanding search. Trying to find someone at 4.23 a.m. to play with. There we go. Teams even versus a Terran on Jungle Basin. Terran, Jungle Basin. I have no idea what strategy... Yes! Zerg. Oops, I forgot to make a drone. Blarg will growl. I should tell him, no marine rushes, plocks, THX. to this location, I suppose. Oh, dang it. I'm getting falling behind on my drones here. Like, I'm not keeping up. <clears throat> there we go. This guy will go, I guess, right here. It's a good spot. Actually, this is probably a good spot to spot uh, incoming marines while they're coming down this side. Or either side, really. This is not a tutorial. You shouldn't be teaching people to play right now. Not that you're good enough to actually do any kind of teaching, but, you know, whatever. Wait, this is a good 14 hatch map. Which is exactly what you're probably expecting me to do, so I'm not gonna 14 hatch. <clears throat> I wonder if I can get a drone in now and scout out what he's doing. Here comes the SCV. Now I get gas. I usually like to get it like a little bit before the halfway mark on my spawning pool. It just again wasn't on the ball. Well, spawning pool and the gas finish at the exact same time, so that's kind of cool. Queen, a drone. Ah, it's too late. He's already got his wall up. That's alright. I can see what kind of a uh, what kind of attachment he's got on his barracks. None. Ooh, drone on SCV action. This is not a good idea. Those SCVs with their massive HP. Ugh, I like linebackers. Can overlord out. I need to go for something cheesy to get into his base. Or I could just barrel straight down. I know what I can do. He won't be expecting this. I'll show you guys something a little unorthodox. Actually, I don't know how unorthodox it is, but... I'll show you guys anyway. It's going to be a hatchery in base. Actually, I don't know why I'm doing that here. 
because this expansion is easily defended. Oh, he's got a bunker there. Well, there we go. That's a good reason right there. See, I told you he was expecting me to 14 hat. That's why he's got that set up there. But instead, he's just going to get overrun by like a ton of roaches. Let's get some drones out. Because I need lots of minerals for this. I don't like you scouting. Ah, bother. He sees the roach warren. But there's really not much he can do about it right now. Need an overlord. I have a feeling I'm be losing some in just a moment. There we go, so we're gonna have my two queens out. Let's get the spawn lava working on that one. Let's get some roaches working now. Yeah, why would you decide to do that right there? That's not the smartest thing I've ever seen done. Got a bunch of roaches out. Let's keep them coming. And while we do, it doesn't hurt to get a lair. <coughs> Oh, first big wave of roaches coming out after these guys here. But yeah, still need more minerals. Still need better saturation here. Don't know how many I've got. Well, yeah, a little bit better saturation is all I really need. But considering I'm picking up, picking up a second gas here, more drones still definitely required. Let's get him out here. Uh oh, here he comes with a meager little attack. Yeah, you can roast up some drones, that's fine. He put a, he put too much effort into stopping my expansion down there. Now that we've got my lair finishing, get some movement speed for these roaches. And I'll pick up... Let's get these guys going over there too. More Hellions. Pull these guys away. Let the Queens have at them. Actually, let's surround these Hellions here. Not a good idea with drones, but it's the only way to stop them with the Queens. Oh, he was trying to manually move them, too. Not a good idea on his part, I guess. Probably be a good idea to put one of these down. We require more minerals. Let's start carrying this down. He has no scouting on it, I don't think. Roaches do a good amount of damage to those boulders. No, let's replace those drones I lost. Because this wave of... Oh, he does have a scout on it. Oh, all in one splash. But really, what can he do against this right now? Oh, he has the terrible army composition to, to help defend this off. My minerals are hurting. Let's get this off gas. Up we go and around. I don't see his factory working on anything. And he's not going to lift off his command center? Oh yeah, he is. But anyway, now, yeah, now we're in his base, and he's kind of done. Let's get this factory lifted off. Let's get this barracks lifted off. There's some marauders that we're just going to put focus fire down. These have been two fairly easy games. They're not normally this easy. It helps a lot. Being able to predict what your opponent is probably going to do. Even if I lose these roaches, he's going to have to rebuild all of his SCVs. And I'm building roaches back at home. Marauders are a great counter to roaches, though. Let's just get him out of here for right now. Let's 
work a little bit more on these NCVs. Pow! This one too. Pow! Oh yeah, let's go take another couple pot shots at that command center. Hopefully get it burning with no SCVs on the field. Yes, it's burning! There's only a couple of SCVs on the field. Let's finish that off. Get some more roaches out. We're just sending him straight up into his ramp here. There we go, he's finally got it. <clears throat> next step, Spire. Actually, next step is to take this out and expand. He should salvage that bunker. Alright, now let's get some gas pumping. He cannot do any kind of damage to me. Roaches moving out that way. I should have been keeping it. See, I should have been keeping up my spawn larva there too. It's uh, these are mistakes I don't make while I'm playing by myself, but while I'm casting or streaming, I make them all the time. Um, hatchery. Let's get speed too for my links. Scanning my base to see what he can to see what he can see, but it's too late. I don't even care about that bunker. He's gonna bring his uh, marauders in. Let's see if we can focus down these marauders. Come on, focus them down. Focus them down. There we go. And it's a hopeless battle for him now. I hope. <laughs> I hope it's hopeless, said I. Oh, he did. He was able to manage. He, he was able to repair his uh, command center. And I'm led to wonder why he's still hanging around. This is kind of annoying at this point. There we go, let's get these guys in too. Speed finish. Group two. Group one. Gotta give him props for hanging on this long. There are the mutas. There we go. Not even a GG. Man, that was a rude game. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and edit this all up into a longer than 15-minute video, and I will be putting it up on YouTube. If you guys are here for my Fallout videos or you're looking for more Fallout videos, don't worry. <laughs> I, do have, uh, I do have every intention of going back to Fallout. However, uh, I do think I'm going to restart the game. I was talking with my buddy over at a friend's house about the game, and uh, he had a lot of good advice, plus a lot of the stuff the comments have been saying. Uh, but yeah, I want to go ahead and start over. I, want, I think, and the reason I want to start over is because I've got my character to the point where he's using guns, and I think I want to use energy weapons. I've heard a lot that they suck, but I've also heard that they're very strong and impressive looking, and that's the kind of stuff that I like to do on my channel. Okay, anyway, um, this isn't a fallout video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.